smoking gun. So what happens when you need to track down the smoking tape? Well, today I'm here at a top secret location and we are going to find out how to sift through digital evidence. I'm here with Daniel Tobek. He's the managing director of TELUS Forensics. Now, Daniel, this looks like an ordinary office, but this is actually a lab. This lab is actually made to a federal specifications, both in the way it's secured on the outside. Everything is in steel beams and concrete all around, five levels of authentication, cameras galore around the perimeter of the lab. Okay, so this is a fortress in a way. What's with the, the blinky lights? Well, the blinky lights, we follow, again, law enforcement type methodologies. Whenever there's visitors here in the lab and it's by appointment only, that, lab, that light is on in order to tell everybody, hey, beware, there's a visitor here, no. <laughs> Nothing is yeah. going to be on the screen. So now, first of all, I really want to get into some of these tools that you have here. How do you extract digital information to use it as evidence? Definitely. Well, it takes a lot of smart people in the background to do it, but we do utilize tools. And for example, what some of the tools we see here, this is a data extraction utility where we hook up a hard drive to it and it extracts forensically all of the data that is on the hard drive. So. Can you ever really delete something permanently from a hard drive? Uh, yes or no. When you delete something, really all it is, it goes away from your computer GUI and goes into a little place we like to call the bit and byte cemetery. It's really where information goes to die. Gotcha. And when you said GUI, you meant graphical user yes, interface, interface, right? So that is the interface. Basically the front of the... You put it in the trash can, it doesn't really go no. in the trash can. No. <laughs> okay, and what is this tool that you've got here? This particular tool is a tool that we use to extract data from phones, Blackberries, regular phones, smartphones, uh, iPads, and any other smart devices, we're able to extract from all major brands. So Daniel, I have a phone here. How long would it take for you to unlock my phone? Well, considering that this is an iPhone 4, it probably takes about a couple hours in order to break it and, and bypass the code. Because if it would be 4S and up, such as on a 5 or a 5S, it's potentially impossible today until further notice. You could not just simply unlock an iPhone 5? Uh, not these days. We're, I mean, the only people today that can unlock a 5 or a 5S is Apple themselves as they have the special decryption keys for those phones. Now, of course, everybody in Canada is really fascinated by the Rob Ford case. So in an instance like this where you know that there is a digital tape somewhere out there on the Internet, it's really like a needle in a haystack. How do you even go about finding something like that? Well, either A, you need to know where to look. Right, so somebody tells you, here's where you can find the file, uh, or B, your search for it on various forms, uh, or some videos are offered. I mean, here's a video, here's information, here's footage, uh, that would you be interested in acquiring that? But uh, there's always underground type of levels and, you know, sharing sites where, you know, people upload information, audio, video, photos, documents where you can potentially buy it. But sometimes we have to reserve to old-fashioned techniques. Old-fashioned techniques? Yep. Even though in our technology day and age, we have to sometimes reserve to wiping a drive using Department of Defense type protocols and criteria. But then we have to physically destroy a hard drive, and that's where I have a little surprise for you. Here is the Mini Destructor. The Mini Destructor? So what does this do? Well, what this machine does, it's a very simple format, but we actually can destroy a hard drive once it's been wiped using this machine. Can you show me? Sure. Here's a, here's a regular hard drive, and we'll slide it into this slot. So Daniel, you're physically crunching this drive. You destroy data the old fashioned way. <laughs> and now off to recycle. Okay, so recovering video files that have been deleted from a hard drive does take some innovative thinking, but so does winning the annual Dyson Award. 